In November, San Francisco voters will become the first in the nation to decide whether to outlaw circumcision for young boys. But now, one of the campaign tactics that the backers are using is generating outrage in the Jewish community. ABC 7's Carolyn Tyler here now with a story. Carolyn? It's a cartoon that is generating so much backlash. Proponents of a similar ballot proposal in Santa Monica withdrew their measure today. Critics say this comic strip is blatantly anti-Semitic. It's an internet comic strip called Foreskin Man, featuring a blonde, blue-eyed hero battling an evil monster moil. A moil is a Jewish person who performs circumcisions. But it's deeply alarming. Abby Porth is associate director of the Jewish Community Relations Council and showed us side-by-side -side comparisons of Foreskin Man and images the Nazis used. For millennia, um, people have tried to uh, prevent Jews from practicing our religion. And circumcision is a fundamental, integral piece of our, of our practice. The comics creator, Matthew Hess, also wrote the language for San Francisco's ballot measure. He came from San Diego in April to join this group of men who turned in enough signatures to put a ban on this November's ballot. Hess says Foreskin Man is, quote, doing what it's designed to do, shine a spotlight on the practice of Brit Mila, the genital mutilation of children without their consent. I spoke to him this morning and I said, this is not good. Lloyd Schofield, the leader of San Francisco's anti-circumcision campaign, believes the comic book goes too far. It's inflammatory and 180 degrees different from the direction we wanted to go in. And I could understand completely why people would be offended. That's why we never used them on our website. But even though you never used them, there, there's a link on your site to his site. Are, are you disavowing him? No, I'm not disavowing him. Schofield says he would like Hess to remove that cartoon. Hess tells me he has no intention of doing that.